Prince Andrew and his former wife Sarah Ferguson have been thrust back into the spotlight following the news surrounding their living situation. King Charles III reportedly wishes for the Duke of York to move out of his current royal residence and into a smaller property. Andrew has lived at Royal Lodge, a 30-room mansion in Windsor Great Park, for almost 20 years. He shares the home with the Duchess of York, from whom he divorced in 1996. It has been speculated that the Duke will no longer be able to afford the upkeep of his estate, particularly if his annual allowance of £249,000 is taken away in April. However, Andrew has an ace up his sleeve in the form of his ex-wife, who has proven to be a workhorse ready to save the disgraced prince. Last week, it emerged that King Charles had asked Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle to vacate their former home, Frogmore Cottage. The King contacted the couple shortly after the publication of Spare, the Duke of Sussex's tell-all memoir, in which he revealed intimate details about life behind palace walls. It has since been claimed that Charles has offered the keys to his younger brother, who has been distanced from the royal family after the fallout surrounding his connection with Jeffrey Epstein. However, Andrew is said to be resisting the move. And, according to the associate editor and the main interviewer of News Review at the Times, he is lucky to have ex-wife Sarah who is determined to improve the maligned family's fortunes through sheer hustle alone. Charles poised to pull rug from under Harry and Andrew with rule change the two former working royals could be stopped from being involved in matters of state, according to a royal expert. Proposals are currently under consideration and could arrive in the House of Commons in a matter of weeks. What rule could the king change? Find out here. Writing for the publication, Rosie Kingchen said, Luckily, he has a nace up his sleeve. Sarah Ferguson, 63, who still lives as a guest of her former hubby, is busy putting her nose to the grindstone. While Andrew mopes around Windsor waiting for ever-diminishing handouts from HMK and pondering his options as the gagging clause on his settlement with Virginia Jufrey expires later this month, Fergie is proving the proverbial workhorse, determined to improve the Milline family's fortunes through sheer hustle alone. Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie, has lived at Royal Lodge since 2008. She moved into the home with her ex-husband and their two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, 12 years after her and Andrew's divorce. Notably, following a series of scandals, Fergie was given the cold shoulder by some members of the royal family. Since her divorce, she has pursued career ventures of her own, endeavors that may now save Andrew. The Duchess is a hit in the world of romance writing, becoming a bestseller in 2021 with the publication of, Her Heart for a Compass. Her second romance novel, A Most Intriguing Lady, will be out later this month. In a bid to promote her upcoming book, the Duchess has taken part in a number of interviews. Don't miss! Poll, should William and Kate move to Royal Lodge? Poll, Andrew could be dragged kicking and screaming from Windsor home, latest, Frogmore Cottage, the hideaway long used to shelter embattled royals, Insight, speaking with The Telegraph, she revealed she is in talks for a major US TV series involving both books, and admitted to considering her own documentary in the future. Ahead of the novel's release, Sarah relaunched her Instagram book club, which promotes unconventional storytelling and marginalized voices to her 485,000 followers. She is also reportedly in talks about an animated children's series based on her Little Red books and has been running her own YouTube channel, Storytime with Fergie and Friends, on which she posts daily clips to her 68,000 subscribers.
In a recent interview with Hello, Sarah claims she is in a position where she can support her ex-husband. Fergie said she feels really pleased and proud to support Andrew through her work because he doesn't take taxpayers' money having stepped back from public life in 2019. She continued, since he stepped back, from royal duties, he doesn't actually take taxpayers' money. And I'm in a position where I can support him and the rest of the family through my work. And I'm really pleased and proud to do that. All I will say is that for many years now, it started with Budgie the little helicopter, I've really pushed to look after my girls and to contribute to the York family life. When asked whether there are plans to relocate to Harry and Meghan's former home, she said, this is really a matter for the Duke and His Majesty.